First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Well, the lack of rain here in southern Kentucky has put us now behind close to six inches as far as the deficit of rainfall from January 1st until today. Now, we do see some rain chances coming by the middle and the latter part of the week, but it's still not going to be enough to make up for that big deficit. And right now on First Alert Live Doppler Radar, we're not seeing any rain, not expecting any today or tomorrow. We're going to have to wait until Wednesday before rain chances come back around. In fact, here's a look at rain chances over the next seven days, nothing today or tomorrow. As we get into Wednesday, though, a cold front is going to come in, and as it drops down out of the Great Lakes region, taps into a little bit of Gulf moisture, we're going to say a 40% chance of showers, mainly during the afternoon and evening hours on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, that is the best chance that we've seen as far as consecutive days of getting at least better than a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain. 40 percent is not bad, but that's still hit and miss showers, the splash and dash variety that we're kind of used to and we see normally at this time of the year. Then, of course, that goes back down to just a 20 percent chance by Sunday, but we're hoping that that Wednesday through Friday stretch does bring us at least a short-term fix to a long-term problem that is going to continue, it appears, until we get some more uh, bonus moisture in here. And that would be either from a leftover tropical system, which we don't see really affecting us anytime soon, or maybe just an overall pattern change as we get on into fall. Let's hope we don't have to wait that long. Temperatures right now in the upper 50s to low 60s everywhere you look across the uh, Kentucky Mesonet Network this morning. And the dew points are still fairly comfortable. We don't have really that humid of an air mass. If you know yesterday, if you were out at all, it was warm, but it wasn't hot and humid. Today will be much like yesterday until we get some more humidity in here. That's going to happen tomorrow. Here's the sun coming up live from Doppler Cam this morning with a mainly clear sky over Bowling Green. 58, your current temperature reading with a calm wind and a steady barometer. Here's a few of our AAA systems weather cams this morning. Edmonton, you're starting at 62 degrees and mainly clear. Greenville seeing a few high clouds, but you're fair in a temperature of 61. The Custer Cam up in Breckenridge County, you're seeing a clear sky, your temperature at 60 degrees. A little bit of patchy fog through the Mammoth Cave National Park and a temperature at 61. Russellville, you're clear and 58. Air quality index today running high with the UV index. Pollen and ozone both in the moderate category today thanks to some grass, a little bit of ragweed in there as well. And we're getting into that time of the year when the ragweed is going to be a bigger deal. 89 today up in Hardensburg, 88 for E-Town. 90 for Litchfield, all around the Rough River Lake area this afternoon. A mostly sunny sky should be a dry, hot day, not necessarily humid, but a warm day like yesterday. The Powerball jackpot for the upcoming Wednesday night drawing estimated to be at $80 million, and the next Mega Millions drawing estimated to be at $100 million. Temperatures? Around the region, upper 50s, low 60s, a few 70s showing up back to the west of us. Radar, pretty quiet over the last 12 hours. High pressure in control of our weather, so we're not seeing any rain here. Nearest rainfall with this complex of thunderstorms heading south out of uh, Kansas City. That's ahead of a cold front that is going to drape down out of the Great Lakes over the next couple of days. Here's our high pressure that gave us the fairly nice weather over the course of the weekend. It is that front to the north tapping into some Gulf moisture that is going to help spark at least a few of those showers starting on Wednesday. Until then, everything's going to either be north or south of us as we continue to sit in that area where we hardly see anything going on. Mostly sunny, warm today, a high around 90, 62 and mainly clear tonight with a little patchy fog. Tomorrow we'll make it up to a hot, humid 91. The same goes for Wednesday, but we're throwing in there that chance of mainly afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms. In fact, 40% the chance that you could see some rain Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but it's mainly going to be during the heat of the afternoon and into the early evening hours. Temperatures do back off into the mid-80s as we head into the weekend.